beautiful, another lovely day. Let's go back to our hole. Done a little bit. Haven't really said much. Oh, you know what? While we're going down here, I'll talk about the uh, evil campaign that we've been doing. Where to begin? Uh, I guess how we got together. We just we were kind of thrown together. Well, actually, all right. Let me just set up the scenario of where we're at. Uh, where we were at. Uh, we were at Sentil Keep, which is like Bad Guy Haven Central, or one of them, Bad Guy Central. And uh, we pretty much were there to claim a our let's see the fourth piece, fourth segment of the rod of seven parts. Uh, one of our party members has two of them, another one has one of them. Granted, one of the ones, wow, I just saw into the, the earth again. Um, but one of them, one of the segments is disenchanted because of a previous encounter that I set up. It was nasty. I had him take on an elder brain. They failed horribly. Anyway, moving on. Pretty much, we the way it was set up is like, pretty much Harper's, uh, army of Harper's, led by Storm Silverhand, with like, Triss Duordin, and a, uh, Titan Paladin, I think is what he said. But, anyway, um, we pretty much within like two rounds of combat wrecked their shit. I mean, they couldn't they couldn't handle the might and power that was being thrown at them. We I my character who's like a necromancer kinda esque dealy freaking all he did was raise some undead, turn some uh, enemies against the other side. Ranger, a ranger took out Driss Dordan. A monk took out the freaking Titan. The Titan Paladin. Uh, between one of the new guys that showed up and our half giant Steve, they wrecked freaking Storm Silverhand. She didn't have a chance. It's a horrible, horrible way to go for her. Because she pretty much got cleaved in half by Steve, who's just nasty in his own right. Uh, I made it a point, though, with my necromancer to cast a couple contingency spells should the worst ever happen to poor Steven. Namely, uh, contingency animate dead. So when he dies, he comes back as a zombie. Uh, and then contingency awaken undead. So he'll retain his knowledge. If not, make him smarter. And undeath Steve may be the smartest of our group of, aside from my own character. Just rocking damn near 30 intelligence. I know, it's badass, isn't it? I am pretty beastly. Oh, that's unfortunate. I saw the water. I saw where the water was coming from. All surrounded by frickin' lava right now. Yeah, let's not go towards that guy. Yeah, this past D&D uh, &D session was literally a record for our house because we had what was it a total of 10 people show up just to play you know and that wasn't including our DM so that's 11 people and they're all in the same campaign playing different characters 
a lot, lot to handle for the DM, but, uh, I've run with him before, been in a few things that he's run before, and wow, he's, he's great. He's actually the guy that, that uh, hooked me up with the TV that's, that's right behind my head, and, uh, Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance, which I'm playing on my off time. Uh, what else? He was also, uh, getting a capture card, a capture device of his own here soon, so that, um, he'll be able to record gameplay off of his systems, which he's got a couple more, uh, retro older systems, like, uh, actually, um, it's somewhere, somewhere in this room. I don't know where off the top of my head, but he lent me an NES, an original NES system. Uh, I have a PS1 actually buried under some clothes over there. He, uh, he has a Super Nintendo, a Nintendo 64, PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, I think he actually even has a Sega Genesis, I'm not sure. But, he's more of a Nintendo guy who isn't in my circles, to be honest. And this guy, oh my god, he loves Mega Man, so more than likely he's going to drag me into some Mega Man recording. But that's that's okay. I'll be alright with that. As long as I'm recording. I love recording stuff. Uh, Minecraft, I've been having fun with, but I mean, I'm still at a point where I'm building up my stuff. Oh yeah, that's right. I wanted to put this Right, you know. Oop. I'll make a furnace. Sweet, I got <laughs> I got an achievement. Yay. Bam. Put that down. I don't think I right, need to put the bucket down there, because if I actually do find some more, I'm gonna bucket that crap. Hey. I still can't believe I found diamonds. So needed the diamonds. Need more diamonds, but oh my god. One I think I oh. I didn't even look to see how many I had. I just was like diamonds. Oh diamonds. I'm gonna try to make some rail railways. I doubt it'll work, but that's that's the thing, one of the things I do in my uh, other shame.
So, uh, I was just digging around a lot and saw something that freaked me out up there. There's light. I thought I was going to get covered in lava. But, to my astonishment, when I finally got up here, I came across this, which is a lava pool under down there that kept on messing me up and this giant what looks to be a lava river which these are going to be fun to explore and I know you're probably saying to yourself you're planning on exploring these yeah. and I got I got myself a couple things down here I'm gonna have to do one Oh, I don't have anything for it. Shh, Nikes. It's okay. Oh, you know what I can do? <laughs> Got enough freaking cobblestone for it. I might as well start building some stairs back up. So, let's start making some stairs. Alright, well, um,. As I'm making stairs, I have to end this video. So, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button under the screen. If you really like it and want to see more, subscribe and be on the lookout for more. Until we see each other in the next video, peace out. I'm like freaking scared at this point. This, this might be just patient. Sweet.